Now this model right here represents a neuron. Now this neuron has been cut so that we can fit all of the pieces on here. This is the cell body right here, and then this down here is the axon. Now I'll talk about the structures individually. Starting with the cell body, this cell body right here, also known as the soma, this is the main portion of the cell. Here you can see the nucleus with these nuclear pores here. Okay. These blue dots right here, those would be nissel bodies. And what nissel bodies are, are rough endoplasmic reticulum that would make proteins that would turn into neurotransmitters. Okay. Now this structure right here, and this structure here, and this structure here, 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 and here, and even down here, these are dendrites. Those dendrites have receptors on them, and they'll receive information from other cells. Okay? These little orange things here are axon terminals, axon terminals here, that connect or synapse with the dendrites, or the cell body, or even the axon. And this axon terminal has been cut open so that you can see a mitochondrion here in all of these little synaptic vesicles. Those synaptic vesicles hold the neurotransmitters that get released into the synapse and then bind to receptors on the postsynaptic cell membrane. This structure right here, this funnel-shaped structure, which funnels things into the axon right here, this is the axon hillock. This is the axon, and since this is a long cell, it's been cut so that we can fit the rest of the axon down here. Okay. So down here, we've got the axon running through the center of this. This is axon as well, and we've cut the axon open so we can visualize structures on the inside of the axon, like these structures right here, which would be mitochondria, and these structures right here, which would be nissel body. Okay. Now, we also have in this model these white cells that wrap around the axon. These are Schwann cells, and Schwann cells make a fatty substance called myelin. These structures right here, between the Schwann cells, these structures are the nodes of Ranvier. Now, these Schwann cells with the myelin, what they do is speed up the electrical impulse as it's carried down the axons. Okay? And they do this through a process called saltatory conduction where the action potential jumps from node of Ranvier to node of Ranvier to node of Ranvier so that it doesn't have to cover all of this space here. It can jump from space to space to space. And that's what speeds up the electrical transmission. This stuff right here, this connective tissue around the axon, this is called endoneurium. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.